All right, let's uh, continue with what we talked about with our uh, congruent statements with our triangles. And um, this is still a, well, it's actually not a postulate. The next thing we're going to do is a theorem. So let's, I'm going to tell you what the theorem, uh, let's do this instead. Uh, triangles, where did I put my triangles? Oh, there, there they are. Do you have a favorite? We haven't done that one yet, have we? All right, so there we go. Let's make it enlarge it just a tad. I could twist it and all that kind of stuff, but I'm just going to make it as easy as we can to just understand what's going on here. Now, it says applying the congruence postulates. What are our two congruence postulates we just spent 10 minutes, 15 minutes talking about? Side, angle, side, and... Angle, side, angle. Good. Okay, so we're going to apply those. So what we're going to do is do this. And we kind of alluded to it a little bit on one of the examples we did when we went over the homework. So um, what if I had this and this? Are those triangles congruent to each other? With that information I gave you right there, are those triangles congruent? Yeah. 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 Why? Give me a reason. Uh, angle, side, angle. That's right. That's all you got to say is angle, side, angle. Now watch this. We talked about this a little bit ago. Look at that third angle. Everybody watching? I want you to think a little bit. Look at that third angle. So if these two are equal to these two, you with me? Let's just say, I'm going to make up a number. Let's say they add up to 140 degrees. Okay, I don't know what they are, but these two add up to 140. Then what are these two going to add up to? 140, because they're exactly the same as these, right? So if they both add up to 140, what's this little angle down here going to be? It's going to be 40. So watch, if these two are equal to these two, let's say it like this. If you have two angles of one triangle equaling two angles of another triangle, what must be true about the third angle then? Now, the third angles don't add up to 180. The third angles must be what? We just what we just talked about it. We put numbers in here. If these add up to 140 and these add up to 140, okay, so let's finish my statement. If two angles of one triangle equals two angles of another triangle, then what's true about the third angles? They're congruent. Okay, you just didn't say it loud enough. She's looking at me like, come on, Mr. Henry, how, much, how many times I got to say it? But you're whispering. I can barely hear you. All right, so what's true? They're congruent to each other. So that must mean that this one is equal to this one or congruent to this one. Everybody see that? Okay. So with that said, and that's not like they didn't have to tell you that those third angles were equal, did they? All right, the only thing they told you at the very beginning was this angle, this side, and this angle is equal to these over here. But we know if these two are equal to these two, then these have to be equal as well. Yes? So what if you didn't have that and you didn't have that? These are still congruent triangles, aren't they? So why are they congruent now? Is this angle side angle? No. Right, you could find the other one, but I'm saying, what if this was what they gave you? What if they gave you this? Okay, so if these two equal these two, that must mean what? This one has to equal this, and they're equal because of what? Angle, side, angle. But I can go directly to another theorem. This is why it's a theorem, okay, because it's taken off of a postulate. Okay, it's from a postulate. So check this out. I've got an angle and I've got an angle. Is this angle side angle? Why not? The side's not what? In between. Exactly right. But what do you think we're going to call it? Start with the angle. That's it. We're going to call it angle, angle, side. All right? So if they just told us that, if they just gave us two angles and a non-included side, do you hear what I just said? Non-included means it's not in between those two angles. So if they gave us two angles and a non-included side, that's enough to say that those triangles are congruent. 
if you wanted to, you could always say, well, if these two are equal to these two, then this is equal to this. That means they're congruent because of what? Angle side angle. You could do that, all right? It's fine. But you could also just look at and say, oh, they gave me two angles and a non-included side equals two angles and a non-included side. So what must be true about these triangles? They must be what? Congruent to each other, okay? And why are they congruent to each other? Because of angle, angle side. Do you see that? So this is something that we took from the postulates, right? We, we know some information. We know if, if these two are the same as these two, that must mean that this one equals this one, all right? Therefore, they're congruent because of angle, side, angle, all right? I could have done that, but I could just skip that step and just say, okay, that information that they gave me right there, that's enough to say that those two triangles are congruent. You okay with that? All right. Uh, let me do another one. It's, we, we have some more of these congruent triangles to do, but not today. Okay, we're going to go to something a little bit different. Yes? Sir. We cannot. All right. It's a good question. I think we're going to talk about it tomorrow. But the um, question was, now I'm going to write it the way she said it because I'll show you why. All right, watch. Is there a side, side, angle postulate? Okay. Now, if you wrote it the other way with the angle first, then it's a word I probably shouldn't be saying in, in this class. Okay. Now, that's not why this doesn't work, but it's just a way for me to remember. All right. Because I have kids that do all the time, and I talk about this all the time. Okay, especially in a Christian school, I'm not going to say. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, really. I mean, you've heard the word a million times. Okay, but I am not going to write angle side side. You with me on that? Just We just keep it unsaid, right? Okay, it's in your head, right? So we're not going to write angle side side because it, it just doesn't work, all right? Think about it. Um, what if I was given an angle... And this would mean the side, or these two sides would be next to each other, but the angle is not in between, correct? So what if I knew this? Is that enough to say that those triangles are congruent? It's not. Because look, I could... Um, mm, trying to think of how I could do this and still keep these things equal, but they're not congruent triangles. I could... Yeah. No, no, there's no way I can find any of these angles. If, if these two aren't equal to each other, see, they're not equal to each other. They're equal to these over here, okay. right? So they are not equal to each other. But that's, again, a good point because that's exactly what we're going to do next. We're going to talk about it if these were equal to each other, okay? Um, I can't think right now. I should. I've done this before. So I don't know if I extend that. I want to keep these two exactly the same. I want to keep this angle exactly the same. Um, yeah. I could do that, couldn't I? No, it would change that. I don't know. There's a, there's a way. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of how to make those triangles not congruent, but still keep these two sides equal and this angle equal right here, okay? There is a way to do it. For some reason, it's just escaping me right now, but maybe I'll work on it if I think about it and try to show you why that doesn't work. But this does not work, okay? There is no side-side angle. There's no angle side-side, okay? And again, not just because it makes a word that we're not really supposed to say out loud, and especially in a Christian school, but... Um, I mean, it's just a donkey, right? <laughs> okay. Anyway, you got the idea. All right, enough of that. Let's, do, let's move on to the next thing. It's a good question, though. Really good question. So let's do a triangle. Oops, wrong thing. Go to polygon. There we go. And let's make three sides. Now watch what I'm going to do here. I made this triangle so that this side is equal to this side. 
So what kind of a triangle do I have now? It's called an isosceles triangle, exactly right. So we have a theorem. I'm trying to think of... Um, Yeah, I don't think you really care, but I'm going to do it. So what if you had this? I think this, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. I should have this down by now. But let's say that all three of these were equal to each other. No, nope, not even going to do that. Sorry. Let's just go to this. I'm just going to tell you the theorem. I'm not, I got it. I'd have to think about it again to um, to prove it. It's probably in the book. They probably prove it in the book, but it doesn't matter. So this is what kind of a triangle? Isosceles. Okay, so it's an isosceles triangle. That means at least two of the sides are equal. We'll just make two of the sides equal. We have a theorem that says this. If you have two equal sides, the angles that are opposite those two equal sides are also going to be equal to each other. Okay, you follow me on that? think yeah I think hold on I think I might have had this what if I do this let's just see if this works what if I draw that perpendicular so that's a what a right angle yeah and then no that's not gonna work anyway sorry I <laughs> Again, you probably don't care. Even if I did figure it out, you wouldn't care. Let me just show you what's true. If these two sides are equal to each other, that must mean that these two angles that are opposite those equal sides are also equal to each other. Okay, just remember that. I should show you why, but I just can't think of it off the top of my head. And it's not in my notes, so maybe I should put them in my notes one day so I can show you. Right? So if I gave you two equal sides, then these two angles are equal to each other. Does that make sense? All right, so if I said the length of that is five and the length of that is five, now that doesn't help you find the actual angles, but if this was like, I don't know, 40 degrees, what's this angle gonna be? 40 degrees. Everybody with me on that? You can go the other way too. What if I gave you that these two angles were equal? What could you say about the two sides? What if I said that this was 40 and this was 40? What can I say about the two sides of those tri that triangle? That they're equal to each other as well, okay? So if the two angles are equal, then the two opposite sides are equal. When I say opposite sides, I'm talking about the side that's opposite this angle and the side that's opposite this angle. Then they have to be equal to each other. Make sense? Yeah, that's not too hard to figure out, is it? Now, let's do another one. Let's do this. Oh, let's make it white. Now, with that said, this should make a lot of sense. This is an equilateral triangle. All three of those sides are equal. Okay? Now, from what we just finished saying, these two sides are equal. So what do we know about these two bottom angles? They got to be equal. Would you agree? Now watch this. That's right, because look, if these two sides are equal as well, right? That must mean the opposite angles are equal as well, right? So that must mean this angle is equal to this angle up here. If this angle has one arc, then what? That's gonna have one arc. That's kind of a little mini proof right there. Just kind of, kind of proved it to you from knowing this theorem right there. So this is interesting. If you have an equilateral triangle, equilateral triangle, it also means it's also what? Equiangular. Good. Now I'm going to show you something else. Everybody with me on that? So if I knew, if I started off knowing that all three sides were equal, what does that tell me about the three angles? That they're going to be equal to each other. Okay, so if it's equilateral, that means it's also equal what? Angular. But what if I just started off with the red? Okay, what if I didn't show you those sides were equal? What if I just said this angle, this angle, and this angle are equal to each other? 
What do you think might be true about the three sides? Are we listening? I don't think we're, I don't think we're registering. If all three angles are equal to each other, I told you that they're all equal to each other, okay? What does that mean about the three sides? They're also equal to each other, exactly right. So watch this. If I go this way, if, if I say, if it's equiangular, then it's what? Equi, oh, sorry, I said angular. I was getting ahead of myself. If it's equal what? Lateral, then it's equiangular. I could go the other way. I could say, if it's equiangular, then it's what? Equilateral. So I could actually put an arrow going both ways. Do you see that? All right. So either way, if I told you all three sides are equal, that means all three angles are equal. Now, on this particular one right here, I could actually tell you what the measurement of all three angles are. It's not 90. 90 plus 90 plus 90. Is that 180? 60. That's right. We talked about this the other day, didn't we? Probably yesterday. So watch. All three are equal, and they, they add up to 180, right? So if I divide 180 by 3, I get each angle, and that's 60 degrees. So knowing that it's equal lateral means each angle is going to be 60. Knowing it's equiangular means what? Each angle is 60 degrees. Does that tell me anything about the angles on this one over here? No, it doesn't, because this could be skinnier, it could be wider, right? Um, so I don't know. But if I knew, watch, if I knew that this was, let's say, 70 degrees, what could I tell you then? This other d angle down here is also going to be 70 degrees. What if I told you the length of this side was 5? What would the length of this side be? It would also be 5. Does that tell me what the length of this is? No. Now, there is a way later on. you got to get a little bit higher in your math. But there is a way later on that you could actually figure out the length of that. We're not going to do that right now. Okay, but there is a way. And we may, by the end of the year, actually do that and show you what the length of that thing is. But right now, we don't know what that is. All right? The angles add up to 180, not the sides, the angles. So you could figure out what this angle is up here, though. Right? If I told you this was 70, then this is 70. That's what? 140. So what's this angle up here? That's 40. So you could figure that out. Okay? But right now, you won't be able to figure out what the length of that side is. Remember, only the angles add up to 180. Everybody okay with that? Yeah. All right, that's all I got. I probably, talk, I probably uh, took twice as long as I really needed to, but that's okay. So uh, you got the thing in front of you, right? Your lesson plan. I'll write it down anyway, just in case somebody's looking at YouTube and they want to figure out what the lesson was. And then 18 and 19. Ooh, why that goose? All right, and that's pages 172, 173. Is that what I gave you on the work on the uh, lesson plan? Yep. All right, there you go. That's it. So you got a few minutes, you can work on that. You got about eight minutes. Just take a look at it, see what it looks like. What's that? Ten after. Yeah, the next class ends at five after. Yep.